okay midline swelling in the back of the uh, in the back midline okay punctum okay so this is uh, usually so i will tell you this case scenario uh, okay so this is uh, a case of sebaceous cyst okay so this is a case of sebaceous cyst usually uh, you will get this case as a short case okay so you will be allotted 10 minutes only and uh, you have to do the uh, take the brief short history and you have to take a uh, do a brief clinical examination that is only that you should more concentrate on the inspection and palpation of the swelling so that is the thing you have to do you know not necessary to write anything you uh, you don't give they won't give any case sheet and all so directly you have to see the case and you have to present the case okay so the scenario will be like this uh, a 45 year uh, old lady Okay, so the 45 year old lady, she is presenting with the swelling in the back, particularly, okay, in this location, in the midline. So what is the size of the swelling? Approximately, it will be three cross two centimeter size. Okay, so what are the first thing you should ask the history, history taking from the history taking, what are the thing you have to ask? The first thing is you should ask about the swelling. So what is the swelling the first thing is onset onset you you know all these things uh, that is uh, for all swelling you have to ask these things onset progression then progression then finally other associated factors like uh, whether it is associated with the pain or any other complaints is there that you have to ask so this uh, type of swelling usually it will be having uh, insidious onset okay you don't get an acute onset usually it is an insidious onset and duration will be a, a longer duration because it is a, a benign swelling and progression of the swelling also it is slowly increasing in size okay so that uh, patient uh, uh, don't bother about the swelling at all so so this is the scenario they are presenting with the swelling so you should tell the brief history the swelling which was started uh, uh, in serious onset this is the duration and uh, this is the progression of the swelling uh, if it is associated with other associated symptoms you have to talk about that symptoms in detail also then you have to talk about other things suppose this swelling may present with complications then that will produce some symptoms that also you have to talk then followed by examination okay so this is the clinical examination is very important the first thing is what is the clinical examination inspection inspection so inspection what is the first thing you have to do you all know that for any swelling first thing is that usually I used to tell that is a 5S. Okay. So here the site of the swelling. What is the site? It is in the posterior aspect and in the midline. Number one, site of the swelling. And number two, what is the size of the swelling? This size is here it is. You can see that both vertical as well as horizontal. Okay. So size of the swelling, it you, it looks like 3 into 2 centimeter in size then shape of the swelling it is globular in shape then surface surface appears to be smooth then finally skin over the swelling here the skin over the swelling it looks like there is a punctum is there okay so this clinical finding you have to tell in your inspection then followed by extent of the swelling that is extent so what what is the extent you have to you have to talk about in relation to the common 
standard surgical landmarks you have to use okay here you can use the midline you can use the midline is there and you can use the angle of the scapula on both the sides okay so using that you have to tell so what you have to tell the borders you got an upper border you got a lower border you got two lateral borders right lateral border left lateral border using these landmarks you have to describe the swelling that is called extent of the swelling so extent you have to tell then followed by uh, other things the skin over the swelling is very important here you are able to see only the punctum and other things like uh, pulsations dilated veins scars sinuses and other things also you have to rule out so this is a basic short case so you have to take a, a brief history and followed by inspection once you finish up the inspection you have to go and do the palpation so palpation what is the thing you have to do sir. yes sir many are not able to connect sir so, they are in waiting room or so waiting sir but not getting connected sir nobody is there i don't know why think Everything is fine only. 